Well, friends, the human condition is no small picnic. As Ernest Becker famously wrote, the difference between the neurotic and the creative is that the neurotic is the one who cannot create, and so he chokes on his introversions. The neurotic chokes on the overwhelm. The neurotic chokes on the rumination. He can't find a way to respond to the weight of our situation. Human beings are terrified of their mortality. Human beings are terrified of their finitude. Human beings are terrified of the universe. Human beings are terrified of too much awareness. Human beings are terrified. I mean, Carl Jung said it best. He said, beware of unearned wisdom for it can drive you mad. There is a maddening quality to the human condition. The manic geometries of a mind that simply can't take it. We're about to crack, and way too many people are drowning in a sea of despair, diseases of rumination, overthinking, stuck in the quagmire of a mind that's become a kind of autoimmune disorder of the self. It's a horrendous thing. It's like inflammation of the psyche. We need to free ourselves of this mania and instead unleash the brave, reckless gods that live inside of us. We need to metabolize our grief. We need to alchemize our angst. We need to take our broken heart and turn it into art. We need to release the kraken. We need to take our pain and our suffering and alchemize it so that we can reawaken the mind's attention from the lethargy of custom and the film of familiarity and redirect it towards the wonders of existence. We must open our eyes, whereas once we were blind, now we can see. To see the world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower and hold infinity in the palms of our hand and eternity in an hour. To become star makers and cosmic seekers, to awake in ourselves from our excessive self-consciousness and connect with something larger than ourselves. As Tim Duty said, we must recontextualize the self, see ourselves instead as a marvelous conduit in a timeless whole from which molecules and meanings flow from neurons to nebula and back again. And this recontextualization of the self will free us from the disease of rumination, free us from the disease of anxiety and fear and doom and anguish and despair and release us into the kingdom of heaven. Like the children, a fresh green breast of a new world, compelled into aesthetic contemplation, face to face with the iridescent mystery, face to face with something finally can measure it to our capacity for wonder. We become God's children. We become God's children all over again.